Hey guys, I thought I'd do a very quick video on how to make your own cheap DIY electrolysis setup for $10 or less. And my motivation for making this one, it's just a little one, is to clean up some items that I find while I'm metal detecting. And in this case you can see I've got a rusty corroded uh, bottle opener, which I believe has been in the ground for many decades. So I'm hoping that this process will clean it up nicely. So at the end of the video I'll put up some before and after photos to show you how the process worked. Um, but before we do that I better explain what you need to set this up. So like say $10 or less and you may have some of the items at home already. So obviously you need uh, power, some sort of power source but a, a battery works perfectly. So I've got a 9 volt battery, um, then I've got two wires and I bought some alligator clips to attach to either end of the two wires. You need a container to hold the electrolyte solution. Um, I would recommend you just use a plastic container, something you can dispose of at the end. Don't use anything good. Uh, also don't use anything metal, it has to be something like plastic or glass. And as far as the electrolyte, that is just straight water. You can just use straight water, but I've also put in baking soda. So about half a teaspoon into the small container works fine. And then the way you hook everything up is you run the one of the wires from the negative terminal on the battery to the item that you're cleaning. So that's very important to get it the right way around. So negative to the item you're cleaning and the other lead from the positive terminal on the battery to what's called the anode. So that should be either a steel or iron screw or nail. And then the current basically passes through the electrolyte and what you can see bubbling up are hydrogen bubbles. And that's a good sign that the uh, process is actually working and you've got, the, got everything hooked up the right way around. So we're about 15 minutes later. I just thought I'd quickly show you that over time you should start to see the water discolor as the rust is removed. So this process could take, depending on how much rust and corrosion there is, it could take an hour or you could leave it a lot longer. It all depends on the item. So yeah, hopefully you uh, enjoyed watching that video. If you've got any questions, just sing out. And like I say, we'll come back very shortly with a before and after photo of the bottle opener. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.